Have you ever wondered what lies beyond the veil of death? Today, we delve into an extraordinary journey where life and death intertwine. In the vast expanse of human experience, there exist moments that challenge our understanding of reality. Moments that blur the line between the living and the departed, the tangible and the ethereal. One such phenomenon that has both baffled and intrigued scientists, philosophers, and spiritual leaders alike is the near-death experience, or NDE. Imagine, if you will, standing on the precipice of life and death, suspended in an ethereal realm that defies our earthly comprehension. This is the realm of the NDE, a space where some claim to encounter profound visions, transcendent wisdom, and even divine entities. Now, let's take a moment to consider the story of Anna, a woman like any other, yet her story is anything but ordinary. Anna was thrust into the enigma of the near-death experience in a way that none of us could ever anticipate. But let's not get ahead of ourselves, we'll unfold Anna's story bit by bit as we explore the incredible phenomenon of NDE. What makes Anna's story truly compelling is not just the circumstances that led to her NDE, but the profound transformation that followed. The near-death experience has the potential to change lives in ways that are as mysterious as they are profound. It's a journey that can illuminate the darkest corners of our existence and offer a glimpse into what lies beyond our mortal coil. Now you might be wondering, why should I care about these near-death experiences? That's a valid question. The answer lies in the universal nature of death itself. Regardless of who we are, where we come from, or what we believe in, we all share the inevitability of death. Understanding the near-death experience, therefore, is not just about satisfying our curiosity, but about exploring the deepest questions of existence itself. Join us as we unravel the enigma of the near-death experience through Anna's eyes. Scene script, Anna, a survivor, was plunged into the abyss of death, only to be pulled back into the realm of the living. In the heart of our narrative is Anna, an ordinary woman with an extraordinary story. She had walked through life with her heart on her sleeve, braving the storms that life threw her way. But nothing, absolutely nothing, could have prepared her for the moment that would turn her world upside down. In a tragic turn of events, Anna found herself face to face with death itself. The details of the event, while significant, are not the focus of our story today. We are here to delve deeper into the profound mystery that unfolded in the wake of Anna's near-death experience. As she teetered on the edge of life and death, the world around her ceased to exist. The noise of life faded into silence, replaced by a profound stillness that was as unsettling as it was comforting. It was in this moment of utter solitude that Anna found herself standing on the precipice of eternity. But the universe, it seems, had other plans for her. Just as she was about to succumb to the silent call of the abyss, something happened. A force, unseen yet palpable, pulled her back from the edge, back into the realm of the living. It was a moment that was as surreal as it was enlightening. Anna was no longer just a bystander in the grand scheme of life. She was an active participant, a warrior standing tall against the face of adversity. The experience, while harrowing, opened her eyes to a world that was much larger than her own. In the grasp of death, Anna heard a voice, a voice that would change everything. It was a voice that was neither human nor divine, yet it resonated with a depth of wisdom that was beyond worldly comprehension. It was a voice that spoke not of the end, but of a new beginning, a voice that held the promise of a life she had yet to live. In the grasp of death, Anna heard a voice, a voice that would change everything. In the silence of the void, Anna heard a voice, it was not just any voice, it was the voice of the Holy Spirit. This voice was not like anything she had ever heard before. It was a symphony of love, wisdom, and understanding that transcended the limitations of human language. It was a voice that echoed in the chambers of her soul, resonating with a force that was both gentle and overwhelming. The Holy Spirit began to speak, and its words were like a balm to the wounds of her spirit. It spoke of love, a love that was infinite and unconditional. It was a love that did not judge, did not condemn, but simply was. It was the love of the Creator, a love that embraced all creation, including Anna, in its warm and comforting embrace. The voice also spoke of forgiveness. It spoke of the power to forgive, not just others, but also oneself. It spoke of the endless cycle of hurt and pain that is perpetuated when we hold on to anger, resentment, and bitterness. It told Anna that forgiveness was the key that would unlock the chains of her past and set her free. And then, the Holy Spirit delivered a message that would change Anna's life forever. 
It told her that death was not the end, but merely a transition. It was a passage to a new state of being, a state of pure consciousness, free from the limitations of the physical world. It spoke of a world where time and space did not exist, where love was the only reality. In this moment, Anna felt a profound sense of peace. She realized that she was not alone, that she was loved beyond measure, and that her life had a purpose. She understood that every moment, every experience, was a part of a grand design, a cosmic dance of creation and evolution. The Holy Spirit also gave Anna a glimpse of the future. It showed her that she had a mission, a purpose that she needed to fulfill. It told her that she had been given a second chance at life, not for herself, but to serve others. It told her that her suffering was not in vain, but was a part of her journey towards wisdom and enlightenment. The voice of the Holy Spirit filled Anna with a sense of awe and wonder. It filled her with a sense of connection to the divine, to the universe, and to all life. It made her realize that she was not a solitary being, but a part of a divine tapestry, interconnected with all that is, was, and will be. As the voice of the Holy Spirit faded, Anna was left with a profound sense of gratitude. She was grateful for the gift of life, for the opportunity to love and be loved, and for the wisdom that was revealed to her. With newfound knowledge and a second chance at life, Anna was returned to the world of the living. Anna awoke, forever changed by her journey beyond the veil. She found herself back in the realm of the living, but she was not the same Anna. This was a woman transformed, a woman reborn. Her near-death experience had not just been a voyage beyond the edges of existence, but a journey of the soul, a journey within. Anna's transformation was profound and all-encompassing. She had gazed into the abyss, and instead of fear, she found resilience. Instead of despair, she found hope. And instead of death, she found life. A life she was determined to live to the fullest, a life she was ready to embrace with open arms. She had been given a second chance, a rare opportunity to rewrite her story. And she seized it with both hands. Her emotional transformation was akin to a caterpillar emerging from its cocoon. She was no longer a victim but a survivor. A survivor with a voice that echoed louder and clearer than ever before. Her near-death experience had given her a new outlook on life. She saw the world through a different lens, a lens colored by her journey beyond the veil. She understood the fragility of life, the fleetingness of time, and the importance of love and compassion. Anna's resilience was inspiring. She rose from the ashes, stronger and more determined than ever before. She didn't allow her past to define her, instead, she used it as a stepping stone to build a brighter future. She became an advocate, a voice for those who had been silenced, a beacon of hope for those who had lost their way. She found purpose in her pain, strength in her struggle, and hope in her despair. She found the courage to speak out, to share her story, to inspire others. She became a living testament to the power of the human spirit, to the power of resilience and hope. Anna's story serves as a beacon of hope, a testament to the strength of the human spirit in the face of adversity. Anna's story is but one of many, shedding light on the mystery that is the near-death experience. It's a phenomenon that baffles scientists and theologians alike, yet its transformative power is undeniable. Anna's journey took her from the depths of despair, through the portal of death, and into a realm of spiritual enlightenment. Near-death experiences, or NDEs for short, are more than just brushes with mortality. They are profound, life-altering events that often lead to significant personal and spiritual growth. For Anna, the echoes of her NDE continue to resonate, shaping her life in ways she could never have imagined. It was not just an escape from the clutches of death, but a rebirth into a new existence, marked by resilience, forgiveness, and a deeper understanding of her place in the world. In the face of darkness, Anna found light, and in the face of death, she found life. This is the enigma of the near-death experience.